2017 Winners Personalized Prophetic Declarations My Case is Different Introduction We discover from scriptures that no prophecy ever gets fulfilled on its own, but every prophetic word always leaves believers with what to do to see it fulfilled. 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 18 and John chapter 2 verse 5 any prophetic word that doesn't leave us with what to do is questionable. Psalm 89 verse 34. For instance, to be exempted from the oncoming economic holocaust, we must subscribe to the covenant of giving and receiving. Malachi 3 verse 17 to 18 and Malachi 4 verse 1 to 2. This is because what we give today is what secures our tomorrow. 1 Timothy 6 verse 17 to 19. This is why we must keep hunting for the responsibilities attached to every prophetic word. Mark 10 verse 21 There are always conditions to be met to access any provision in redemption. Galatians 3 verse 13 to 14, Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 13 and Zechariah 7 verse 13 We serve a covenant-keeping God, and until our part is played, we cannot get him committed. Deuteronomy 8 verse 18 I pray that the 2017 prophetic package shall fully deliver in the lives of every winner in Jesus' name. Amen. Bishop David Ordepo My case is different. 1 Peter 2 verse 9, 1 Corinthians 4 verse 7 as I maintain my covenant walk with God all through the year 2017, while others may be drying up, I shall be flourishing, because my case is different. Malachi 3 verse 6 to 10, verses 17 to 18 and Genesis 47 verse 15 to 27. As I continue to serve God with joy and gladness, God shall make me to laugh, and all that here shall laugh with me. Genesis 21 verse 6, Psalm 35 verse 27 As I serve the interest of the Kingdom of God throughout the year 2017 and beyond, I shall never lack bread and water on my table Exodus 23 verse 25, Mac. 6 verse 31 to 33 Because I have made my choice to serve the Lord, no matter how many businesses collapse in this season of uncertainties, None of mine shall collapse. Exodus 9 verse 1 to 7, Malachi 3 verse 18, Malachi 4 verse 1 to 2. As I continue to serve God throughout 2017 and beyond, when men say there is a casting down, I shall be singing, there is a lifting up. Job 22 verse 21 to 26, verse 29 and Job 36 verse 11. As I walk in the light of scriptures, the destructions and devastations of these hard times shall never come near my habitation. Exodus 8 verse 18 to 26, Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3. By the light of life all through 2017, I shall never get to a point where I will not know the way forward. Exodus 10 verse 21 to 23, Psalm 25 verse 12 to 14. John 8 verse 12 As I remain committed to the covenant of abundance, I shall be exempted from the oncoming economic holocaust. Malachi 3 verse 6 to 8, verses 17 to 18 and Malachi 4 verse 1 to 2. My days of supernatural breakthroughs are here. Luke 5 verse 1 to 8. As I remain on course with divine plans, I shall be breaking forth on every side in these hard times. Joel 2 verse 1 to 11, Isaiah 48 verse 21 In 2017 and by my commitment to covenant practice, no matter the heat on this earth, it shall not affect me and my household. Exodus 9 verse 1 to 7, Malachi 3 verse 6 to 11 from 2017 onwards, because I belong to this prophetic family, 
Whatever clears the way for this commission begins to clear the way for me and my household. 1 Samuel 10 verse 5 to 6 and 10 to 12, 2 Kings 2 verse 12 verse 15. Through the covenant of tithing, I shall begin to enjoy the reign of divine ideas, which shall turn me to an envy of my world. Genesis 14 verse 20, Genesis 18 verse 19, Genesis 30 verse 32 to 43. By reason of my covenant walk with God, my children shall emerge as high flyers in their lifetime. Psalm 112 verse 1 to 3, Genesis 22 verse 16 to 18. As I walk in obedience to the commandment of scriptures, my household shall emerge a family of giants. 1 Samuel 2 verse 22 to 30, Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3 and 8 to 22. As I walk in the fear of the Lord all through 2017, I shall be divinely guided into realms of supernatural abundance. Isaiah 58 verse 11 to 12, Psalm 23 verse 1 to 6. In the year 2017, whatever represents an air of pity around my life, shall be turned to testimony of envy. Isaiah 60 verse 15, Genesis 26 verse 1 to 14, Galatians 4 verse 28. By my raw obedience of faith, I shall begin to command noiseless breakthroughs all through 2017 and beyond. Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 13, Luke 5 verse 1 to 8. As I continue to serve God, Every generational curse hanging around my life shall be supernaturally broken this year. Exodus 23 verse 25 to 26, Numbers 23 verse 8 and verse 20. Because the righteous shall not beg bread, the days of my joblessness are over. Psalm 37 verse 25. And because my God is not a robber, but a rewarder, there shall be no more dry seasons in my business and career life. Hebrews 11 verse 6, Revelation 22 verse 12. All through 2017 and beyond, every benefit of covenant practice shall start speaking loud in my life. Philippians 4 verse 15 to 19. No one shall ask me again, where is your God? Psalm 115 verse 2 to 3, Psalm 79 verse 10 to 12. By my commitment to kingdom advancement endeavors all through 2017, everything shall be speaking in my favor. Psalm 102 verse 13 to 15, Psalm 35 verse 27. All through 2017, Everything shall be working together for my good as I maintain my covenant walk with God, Romans 8 verse 28, John 14 verse 21. I believe serving God guarantees fruitfulness, therefore, I shall bring forth my miracle child or children this year, Exodus 23 verse 25 to 26. Because the fruit of the womb is listed among the rewards of service. I shall bring forth supernaturally this year. Psalm 127 verse 3 For every form of shame I may have suffered, there shall be double restoration for me in 2017. Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3, 14 to 15, Isaiah 61 verse 7 My days of manifestations are here. Romans 8 verse 19 to 20 from 2017 and beyond, and by reason of my covenant walk with God, I shall be feeding fat from heaven's storehouse, Philippians 4 verse 15 to 19, Exodus 16 verse 35. All through 2017, while many may be begging, I shall be giving. Proverbs 11 verse 24 to 25, Proverbs 28 verse 27 and verse 29. In 2017, while many may be living with hunger, I shall be distributing food. 1 Timothy 6 verse 17 to 19, 
Matthew 25 verse 31 to 40. My covenant walk with God today shall continue to distinguish me all through this season of uncertainties. Malachi 3 verse 6 to 11, 17 verse 18. As I follow divine guidance, wonders without end shall be my experience all through the year 2017 and beyond. Psalm 23 verse 1 to 6, Isaiah 48 verse 21. As I maintain my covenant walk with God, my showers of blessing shall continue to come down. Ezekiel 34 verse 26, Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 to 13. As I continue to serve God all through 2017, I shall be singing breakthrough songs all the way. Psalm 126 verse 1 to 6, Psalm 35 verse 27. As I continue to put the Word of God to work, my life shall no longer be a question mark, but an exclamation among men. Matthew 13 verse 54, Isaiah 60 verse 1 to 3. My days of total health are finally here. Exodus 23 verse 25 to 26. By my faith in the finished work of Christ, my health shall be fully restored this year. Jeremiah 30 verse 17, Matthew 9 verse 27 to 29. In 2017, through the revelation of the word, health and vitality shall be my testimony. Job 33 verse 21 to 25. Through the mystery of kingdom stewardship, every sickness and disease shall be taken away from my body. Exodus 23 verse 25 to 26. As an ambassador of Christ, reconciling the world back to God through soul winning, I shall continue to live a sickness-free life from henceforth. John 15 verse 1 through 2. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 20, Proverbs 13 verse 17. As I continue to give to the poor, I shall be totally delivered from every affliction of sickness and disease from henceforth. Psalm 41 verse 1 to 3. I believe that serving God guarantees longevity, therefore, God shall satisfy me with long life. Exodus 23 verse 25 to 26, Psalm 91 verse 16. From henceforth money shall become an issue in my life. Job 22 verse 21 to 25. Through my tireless commitment to covenant practice, I shall be financially settled this year. Deuteronomy 8 verse 18, 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6 to 8. As I maintain a quality covenant walk with God, in the midst of this economic meltdown, I shall be scaling new heights. Malachi 3 verse 6 to 10, Malachi 4 verse 1 to 2, Genesis 47 verse 15 to 27. Through the mystery of tithing, this time of economic horror shall be my time of financial honor. Malachi 3 verse 10 to 11. Psalm 37 verse 18 to 19. As I remain committed to kingdom advancement givings, my financial dominion shall be established this year. Haggai 1 verse 5 to 14, 1 Kings 8 verse 17, 18. By my raw obedience to the law of giving and receiving, money shall become of least concern to me all through 2017 and beyond. Job 22 verse 21 to 25, 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6 to 8. As giving and receiving becomes my lifestyle, supernatural abundance shall become my testimony all through 2017 and beyond. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 1 to 3, Philippians 4 verse 15 to 19. My year of escape has come. Isaiah 63 verse 4. Hebrews 2 verse 3. As a covenant child, God's vengeance shall answer in the camp of my enemies this year. Isaiah 63 verse 4, Luke 18 verse 7 to 8, Psalm 94 verse 1.
As I continue to make bold declarations, whatever is seating on any aspect of my destiny, shall be unseated this year. Psalm 81 verse 10 to 14, Proverbs 18 verse 21. As I continue to put the word to work, seemingly impossible barriers shall give way to me. Exodus 14 verse 15, Psalm 114 verse 3 to 7. As I continue to walk in the fear of the Lord, in the day of famine I shall be satisfied. Psalm 33 verse 18 to 19, Psalm 37 verse 18 to 19. Because marriage is a good thing and they that serve the Lord shall not lack any good thing, my marital destiny is settled this year. Proverbs 18 verse 22, Psalm 34 verse 10. As a covenant child, every form of marital spell around my life is finally broken this year. Psalm 68 verse 6, Numbers 23 verse 23. As I maintain a quality walk with God, every satanic gang up against me, my family, business and career shall fall for my sake this year. Isaiah 54 verse 15, and verse 17. As I continue to serve God, I shall not suffer any assault of the wicked anymore. Luke 10 verse 1, 17 verse 1, Psalm 105 verse 13 to 15. My season of celebration has finally come. Isaiah 48 verse 21 As I continue to serve God, every day shall be Christmas for me all through the year 2017 Job 36 verse 11, Psalm 68 verse 19 As I continue to follow God's leading, only goodness and mercy shall be following me all through the year 2017. Psalm 23 verse 6 Through my undying love for God, the kind of turnaround that I have never imagined shall begin to take place in my life beginning from this year. Psalm 126 verse 1 to 6, 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9 As I continue to dwell in the secret place of the Most High, I shall be exempted from all evils in 2017 and beyond. Psalm 91 verse 1 to 16 As I continue to engage in promoting the kingdom of God through prayers, all my secret tears shall be turned to public testimonies this year. Genesis 21 verse 6, Luke 2 37, Matthew 6 verse 6 and verses 17 to 18 As I continue to serve God diligently, I shall spend my days in prosperity and my years in pleasures. Job 36 verse 11, Psalm 35 verse 27.